Hey guys, Point Derek came here. And that spot I just recently got cleared, there's a foundation over in there, which I'll show at the end of this clip. But the well, there's a well right there. I'll also show later. But I come over here, it's wetlands. I'm trying to look for the dump for this place. This place goes back to the 1700s. Look at this. It's just buried in here and it keeps going down. I don't know if that's a pipe or if that's a full crock. But look at this. It doesn't even move. So it's got a crack and some chipping, but that's a full crock. I'll show you guys when I get that out or rake it out. I'm trying to rake down to see, but yeah, stay tuned. Unfortunately, the bottom was busted out of it, guys, but if I ever want to come back for it, all the pieces are in there, so we'll see. I might come back for this piece of the lid right there. But I think uh, I'd rather spend my time looking for a dump. So I'll let you guys know if I find one. Still have a lot to search. And other spots as well. All right, guys. Stay tuned, guys. So I found some just minor scattered stuff. Nothing really good. I did find a purpling bottle I'm taking with me. It's just a food product from probably the 1910s, but it's purpling. So we'll take that. Start purpling, nice. Have fun. Anyway, this foundation I was talking about, I did find an old dump and I'll show you in a minute. Like really old for some reason. So this right here is a well. That's the stone well. Over. And over here is the house. The damn foundation. Now the thing about this is though, there's so they've cleared it out. There's junk all inside of it. I think it burned since it's a lot really dark. Looks like it burned at one point. You know, those buckets and stuff in there. I might go investigate that because of what I just found, which I'll show you right now. So, this foundation does at least show up on the 1868 map. So that means it's at least 1860s, but probably likely older. So this is all cleared out, which is kind of odd, as they put the park in here. But what's really odd is that this section, which actually could be the newer section, so that might actually explain why uh, why there is a dump, but the whole floor is dump in this foundation right here. And it's kind of weird, so if I can get to it. I was just pawing around a little bit. I start pulling out all kinds of relics and bottle pieces. Get in here. The reason I also say this struck the burn, because look how black the soil is, and the pottery is obviously, unless they burn the dump, which would be interesting, but anyway, let's look at the pieces. This is old. You can see it was embossed right there. And then look at this, guys. Piece of a squat or blob. And then I've got rogue rugs, and this is like one of the early spoons. So down here, there's definitely stuff. It's metal right there. I don't know what that is. Huh, not sure what that is. It looks almost like a, you know, like the old mirrors? I don't know, but I'll turn you guys back on if I get something. I just got Marika's stuff over here, so hopefully we got some stuff. We got some shotguns, those and the tiny little buttons. All right, but the thing is, it's weird is I know that this isn't, wasn't in the house and it burned is because this thing was standing until out of the 20s. And uh, there was, uh, I mean, it's weird because Stuff is, there's pieces of china and stuff, so I wonder if they just, this is a new addition and they had dumped and they, they built the thing of a dump and when it burned, it just, down here or whatnot, but I don't know. Kind of interesting though. So, hopefully there's something that's not melted and a hole that's nice and early down there, so. All right, stay tuned. Guys, this is totally a dump. I'm really excited because it looks really early. Look at this, guys. Something bros Boston. It's actually it's hard to see. You can't really see on camera, but it's uh, it is hinge mold. Some other nice ones. Panel. Early. Early drugstore. Uh, another cup, bunch of aqua flasks. I found another strap side. It's the first broken one, but look at this, guys. We've got a whole bottle. It looks like one of those glue ones. Possibly down here. Ugh. Okay. Let's hold up the lights. Make sure there's no cracks. No. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, guys. First bottle of the day, and it's a decent old one. 
Ooh, this is actually something different than I thought it was. Is, uh, is that machined? No, it's blown. Huh. Wow, that's a nice bottle though. It says, uh, oh yeah, it is. Um, Professor Galligan's Brazilian gum. No damage at all. Nice aqua cork top blown a mold. Good for first bottle of the time. Well, look at this layer, guys. It is actually, it's kind of hard to see, but it is packed down in here of just glass. That was a piece of something. Pressed glass. There's just all kinds of broken stuff. Every time I rake my hand through, I just pull out tons and tons of glass. It's all, unfortunately, it's mostly broken, but I mean, that one bottle shows that there is whole stuff in here. There's definitely whole stuff. There's another cork top piece. Right there, it's machined, but yeah, if I get something else, it's just kind of hard to film, but if I get something else, you know, show and I'll uh, tune you guys in. But yeah, we got one bottle today at least, and it's a nice one, so no damage either. All right, on the next. All right, after digging through countless broken things, more meds, just tons and tons of broken stuff in here. I find this, first of all, which I'm thinking this was probably pondled. I mean, look at that lip. Yeah, that was probably a pondle. But we have a cylinder thing right here. You gotta be careful here. There's a lot of rock that was think, dumped on top of it or something. I don't know. But here we go. Pull it out. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, it's another. Wow. Man, I keep finding these. I'm not complaining. But it's actually the older variant, I believe, of the Kickapoo Indian Oil. It just says Indian Oil. Or maybe it was a knockoff, who knows, but yeah, that is cool. Wow. No cracks, I don't think. Nope. Oh, good stuff. All right, I'll get you guys on. Guys, it's been slow going, but finally, <laughs> down here we have two things. One is this little marble, and you probably saw the other one, but it's a clay marble. Very nice. And the other is this bad boy. Oh, yes. Oh, nice turtle link. All right, let me get up here for a minute. We'll clean it off and look at it. Oh, I also got a stopper, broken pondle, and guys, we're getting into the pondle era here, so who knows? That was some nice pondle utility. Almost looks like a dollies, but I don't think it was. No. There we go. Okay. Yep. Nice, nice, nice turtle ink right here. Oh yeah, no damage either. Wow. J, uh, I think it's a J, E, and I, or whatever. J and I, E, M. Yep. Oh man, that's nice. Nice turtle ink. Wow, look at the bubbles in the base of this thing, guys. Oh yeah. All right. Now, we keep digging. Hopefully there's more and hopefully there's a pondle. But we got over there to go, and then we got all up in there, so stay tuned. <sighs> hey guys, Plunder Cam here. We're back at the foundation, day number two. And uh, finished all this area over here. So I'm gonna work all in through here to see if there's stuff, but there is, because look at what I just scratched out right here, the bottom layer. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Gilman Bros. Let me just make sure there's no cracks in it. Nope. Gilman Bros. Boston. Nice and early. Uh, Balsam. Uh, I'm thinking that's Seth Arnold's. Uh, yep. Hold on. Get better for you. Dr. Seth Arnold's. Awesome. Sweet. Yep. It's all whole. There's a nice bubble in the base, too. So good for our first score. Nice and earlier blown and mold med. And we'll continue and see if there's anything else. All right. Stay tuned.